guys, how's it going? All right, I hope everybody is doing well and good on this 12th day of May. All right, so today's topic is going to be, wow, you're really going to like this. It's all about relationships. And uh, well, without any further ado, let's get into it and hold your breath. All right, please like, subscribe and comment only if you feel like. All right, relax and chill. Relationship itself must be allowed to be alive. It must be allowed to expand. And so what you're looking for are not mm, promises because no one can keep any of them anyway. Right. So you're not looking for promises. What you're looking for is enough compatibility that you, that you have a pretty good chance of getting pretty good momentum going Wh where you will not lose yourself in the relationship what you're reaching for is the freedom to continue to decide yes. I want the freedom to continue to, to decide and in some ways a relationship in and of itself as from your perspective of it sort of belies that because it, it sort of says I, I'm gonna get so hooked on you that then I won't have the freedom to not be hooked on you if I should choose to be it's a freedom thing it's a control thing yes that you're feeling yes and you can get around that or or get to the heart of part of it by understanding that the only thing that anybody can control is their own relationship with who they are that's what you're reaching for all the time if we were entering into a relationship standing in your physical shoes it is our promise to you that our relationship vows or determination would go exactly like this so far I like you pretty good let's see how it goes let's see how it goes I'm gonna do my best to stay in alignment with who I am which means this relationship has a really powerful probability of not only surviving but thriving because I'm gonna do everything that I can do to be in alignment which means I'm gonna look for the best in you and in everybody and I'm not gonna talk hardly ever about things unwanted and I'm gonna keep myself so tuned in that I have source energy flowing through me so that my capacity to love is gonna be more than almost anybody you know because it's gonna be steady and consistent and my capacity to love you is not gonna be contingent upon anything that you do I'm leaving you out of that part of the equation I'm taking full responsibility for how I feel and I'm gonna practice it for a while I've been practicing it for a while and I'd like to practice it for a while with you but I can't make any guarantees because I, I want to be in alignment I just want to be in alignment I want to know that I can be in alignment without holding someone else hostage to standing on their head in lots of different ways in order to keep me in alignment so what I'm saying to you potential lover of my life is that there are no deal breakers there are no deal breakers there is nothing there is nothing there is nothing that you could ask of me that would break this deal because my relationship with you is not about that my relationship with you is about my relationship with source and you're really pretty <laughs> <laughs> you're really pretty you're really smart you're re you're you're tuned in tapped in turned on in other words have fun with this you don't have to make long-term promises but in the meantime collect some data and in the pro in other words you're wanting to collect some data what you want to say to people who are coming to you is I'm trying to find myself and and maybe we could hang around together while I find myself and finding myself means I want to see how much time I can spend with you with all of the variety that you might introduce into the relationship with me while I stay in alignment with source energy that's what I'm doing right now and it is our promise to you that you'll not only find that alignment but you'll find someone else who has exactly the same plan can you imagine two people coming together who are neither one holding each other hostage for the way the other one feels tuning into source energy and living happily ever after or not but living happily ever after or not not holding anybody responsible for how they feel but them themselves how refreshing is that you see and that's really what you came to us to say it is it is yeah it is so if we're because I study a lot of different um, platforms etc and I, I love your stuff it's conversational it's easy it's law based yes yes um, how do you phrase this is our purpose to 
awaken in the in the human experience to the fact that we're connected to source or is our is a is a purpose here to play with that we are source and what what do you think is the distinction because awakening to the fact that you are source is necessary before you play with source yes um I guess it's it's more of a you know what is the meaning of life kind of a type of question the meaning of life is I was alive before I came and I wanted to come into this body because I knew that I would have more vivid tangible tactile experience with life to be physically focused with all of its manifestational evidence is really the leading edge it's the best this is where all creation is so to be in human form and as you said good words consciously consciously deliberately aligned with that broader part so that I'm constantly and deliberately tuning myself to that so that the whole of me or all that is available to me which is more than we can even express can flow through me in any point in time so that my moments in this body my focused moments are rich and full and meaningful and incredibly satisfying to be in a physical body in concert with source energy so sometimes you're not in concert with source energy because you're exploring contrast and out of that you are you are more defining about what you want but then when you come back into concert with source energy and allow yourself to experience what you have defined that's just as rich as it gets Esther has been asking some serious questions sort of like what you were posing here she is asking us Abraham do we really need to continue to write books and hold seminars and have conversations or are aren't people just gonna figure it out as they go along and we say certainly there is the potential of figuring it out as you go along once you understand that your emotions are the key but until you understand that emotions are the key until you get that you're vibrational and that your emotions are your indicator of that then you don't have any guidance that is consistent enough that you can really know what you're doing emotions and feelings are the same thing in, in your words close enough the emotions the way you feel emotions are your indicator between the vibration of your thought in this moment and the thought of that broader part of you that knows so if you're in a moment you're in a situation let's say you're you're part of a program or you're taking this seminar or whatever and you're you're in resistance to it or anything about it let's say it, it challenges your religious beliefs or whatever we would make up about it how do we know what's the difference between the emotion of that and the feeling of that well we would not try to make any distinction between the two because any any emo, what we mean when we when we say emotion again you have to start with the premise that you're vibrational and so that an emotion is a literal physical translation of conflicted vibration right. it's introducing resistance into a vibration so for example when you're when you're feeling elation right. there's no contradictory thought within you right. when you're angry right. there's a contradictory thought contradictory meaning what the source within you thinks about this right now and what right. you're thinking about this right now aren't blending but you have the free will to introduce it into the equation so you get the benefit of feeling how your thought merges with the thought that you have really come to as the evolving expanding eternal being that you are so the meaning of life the true meaning of life is expansion really the true result of life is expansion we've we've said for quite a while that the basis of freedom because you're so free you can choose bondage but and the purpose of it has to be joy because in seeking joy then you're seeking alignment and the result of that is outrageously delicious expansion you say can you be confused between your emotions and your feelings like you're in a in a situation where like your belief system or your fears are holding you, can, you back if you, if you don't isolate them uh, if you don't isolate them and examine them in a sort of steady way you can because because as you move from thought to thought your feelings shift right and so the best way to subdue that confusion that we have noticed that our human friends have discovered is when you're feeling an emotion especially the strong ones 
if you'll stop in the middle of it and just say simply let's say you're feeling a strong positive emotion if you'll stop in the middle of it and say ah we have agreement here what my opinion and the opinion of source about this right here is saying when you have strong negative re emotion stop and say ah we have a disagreement my opinion and the opinion of source are not the same my who I have really come to and who I'm allowing myself to be right now are not the same so it's interesting because that means that all agreements or disagreements are between you and you it, they seem like they're about what that person wants or about what that person's doing but they're just introducing a concept that you are having a reaction to right and the reaction that most are having to what most are saying is I'm not free to choose and that's not true but once you start exercising your freedom to choose and you watch the powerful law of attraction bring you what you choose and bring you what you choose and bring you what you choose and bring you what you choose you begin to feel invincible not selfishly invincible as if you are depriving others of what they want but invincible in the sense that you understand your true point of attraction and the power of it and the power of your point of attraction lies in the power of your ability to focus on what you want and the power of your ability to focus upon your want what you want lies in your ability to feel the difference between what you want and what you don't want in other words you want love you want love I do you want love so when you think about focusing on someone and loving them you want that love when you focus on losing them or you focus on them not staying right or you focus on them being distracted or not loving you back now you're focused in a way that the source within you is never focused and so and we can see how it could be confusing but we promise you once you get a handle on your emotions you'll never be confused again you won't be confused about what you're doing and you won't be confused about what anybody else is doing when you see somebody freaking out you just know they're not in alignment with who they are and they might even be justified in not being in alignment so this is the contradiction like when you say the want I want something which is to me is I hear the inference of lack I want that well, therefore I'm not that that's semantics and we yeah. understand that and the word desire might be a better word applied to you but the, the reason that we don't mind the word want is because you we all will continue to be wanting right we will there will always be more for us to move toward and right. as you relax into that understanding because it's the premise of all expansion then yeah, then it's good yeah right. So create your vision of what you want desire and then sit in it as if you were already it or the experiences or what you believe it will feel like well said exactly right but so a, even though I'm not in a relationship to be in a relationship in my mind with the person or or how I would have it to be or how I have her to be well here's this is something that we would give to you that's a little different from that certainly that works and if you're really close to knowing what you want and feeling pretty good about it then that just accentuates in other words the more specific you get the faster the energy moves so if you're feeling pretty good being more specific helps you but if you're not feeling good being more